Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei season 2 episode number 4. Okay, the previous episode. Um, Rudius was imprisoned <laughs> and we met a new character, a new ally. I'm guessing he'll become one of our friends, Keith. And he and Rudy, uh, they were able to they were not able to but they were trying to get out of the imprisonment because Eris and uh, Ruijet were like you know stuck with their own problems so the whole place start, like you know the whole beast village started burning down Gallus attacked and it, it like we understood that Gallus's actual plan was to uh, make Ruijet and um, Rudy as a distraction use them as a distraction and get here and you know like burn the village down and get all the people that they can get and sell them as slaves most probably that was what he was trying to do but there was a little bit of a problem he miscalculated rudy actually being here because you know he, he was captured by the end of it so, and he also probably miscalculated his strength so by the end of it rudy uh the sacred beast and geese three of them uh with the teamwork took down gallus and yeah now like eris and rigid is back the beast village knows what's happening and they are thankful to rudy but in the end we see a very um concerning scene eris's uh granddad he he was executed so I don't know how Eris will like obviously Eris will be very sad if she when she gets back and damn that will be that'll be kind of sad you know like seeing and I don't even know when he, they'll be able to go back like they're in the middle of this place now so I'm sure it'll take a lot of time for them to go back and then actually like you know get the news that uh the granddad is dead and you know like rudy will also get the news that their uh, family is missing and stuff like all these things was going to happen like damn so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number four of mushoku tensei season two i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Is this... Yeah, it's like heavy rain. What the? They're playing in the middle of the rain in the mud? Um, what is this place even? It's like in the middle of the... Oh, great. <laughs> the second beast. <laughs> he just wants to play with you. Ah! Oh boy. <laughs> People watching. Wow, this. Um <laughs> But this is something else. Wait, that's the his daughter? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Where's where's Ruji? Isn't he supposed to keep an eye on Rudy? <laughs> I really love this opening song. Whoa. Okay. What what are they doing? Like hunting? I think hunting. Wait, what? Making sculptures? Oh, Gallus is captured. 
I don't think you should put him in this wood, like you know, wooden structure cage. You should probably put him behind some iron bars. Like Gallus is pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this dog is like so cute. <laughs> Damn, Ares is like buff. Like I never realized that. Like he's she's doing physical stuff. So Minitona and Teres Teresena. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's Oh yeah, Ghislaine, Ghislaine. Oh, I think they know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure then. Oh no. What? Um. Do they don't like her or something? Oh no. He fled and Oh my god. Damn, what the hell? Oh boy. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. Well, obviously, like, she won't like that. Like, Ghislaine has been with her for, from, from her childhood. <sighs> Come on, like Yeah Yeah, like as as he said, like probably Ghislaine like left some duty and went away. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> What's that? Oh, <coughs> okay. Oh, so they are com like really related. Yeah. 
Is that girl a cobalt or something? I think so, cobalt. <laughs> no grow up like Elaine. <laughs> yeah, do what you want to. Oh, this whole duty thing, I I guess, like you know. <laughs> I hate study. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, guys. Guys. Hmm. Well. <laughs> All right, she, he is listening. All right, that's, I guess. He accepted it, in a way. Damn. He, he, she, she's just one-handedly. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but Elsa is like her friend now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she she was also learning, you know, like the uh, how to do, uh, like write and everything. I think. Yeah, reading and writing, arithmetic. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yo! Just whacked her across the <laughs> Oh boy. This place is rains most of the time, I can see that. Wow. Oh yeah, she, she's a beast man. She will have, I'm guessing, a little bit more advantage over humans because, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Three months? Like, whoa, they're, they're here for quite a long time. <laughs> Oh, it's a rainy season, okay. Oh, that's why they were waiting here, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, it's good. <laughs> Did this dog become bigger? I think so. What? Um... Um, Rudy, Rudy, what? Oh, my God, yeah, 
What? What happened? Mm. Oh boy. She had none of them making? Oh, really? Oh, that's why he was so surprised after learning. Oh. Wait, who's this? Mm. Yeah, it, 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 it will be too late if she goes back, so like, just say goodbye, <coughs> when you have the chance. Yeah, and this is like a, like, a, not a, you can say, like, it's like a tribal matter, like, that they're fighting with, so, like, going away, in a bad, you know. <sighs> no oh boy. Yeah, the dog got bigger, I think. I guess it's also growing up. <laughs> it's <was> sneaking in. <laughs> yeah. Stealth zero. Hmm. Oh, she has colored it. <laughs> Oh yeah, the three of them. Okay, I, re I realized that a little bit late. <laughs> no, the three frogs. <laughs> Not a single casualty. Well, three months, I... Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh. What? Oh yeah, Ghislaine, because okay, I understand. Okay. Air is also trained with Reject, so I'm sure she'll be able to do pretty well here. Let's see. Whoa! Oh my god! Uh, okay, who lost? What happened? Wait, what happened? Wait, what? Did the weapon break or something? What happened? Oh, wait, she lost? Yeah, I'm, I also don't get it. What, what happened? What? How did they decide that who won? <laughs> Wait, can we get an explanation? How did they decide who won? Hmm. Oh, Giz is coming. Oh yeah, he really was captured because of a offense, a real offense. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Holy country of Milis. Oh. Oh, that's why this road. Okay. <laughs> it's a legend, so. <coughs> <coughs> oh, what the? Great monument. <coughs> okay. God, dragon, not, oh, not God is the last one. Hmm. Oh. Wait, we already, m no. Okay, top, okay. Oh my god, here we go. He jinxed it. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, something's going to happen. Low life in the Doldia village. I'm sure something's going to happen. The thing that Rudy said in the end, that's a big... <laughs> that's a big no-no, like he completely jinxed it. Now I'm sure we're going to meet someone who... Who will probably be stronger than Rijit.
Okay, wait. Uh, so we still did not get an explanation how... How did the... I guess um, they themselves, like, you know, when they clashed, uh, Ares and... Uh, that guy, I forgot his name. Um, when they clashed, I'm guessing both of them were able to gauge who was more powerful and that's why like you know they themselves said Ares was like yeah I lost because you know like by trading blows they were able to realize who is stronger and who would win by the end so Okay, that's the end. <coughs> Alright, so this episode, um, here we see what happened in these three months where they were actually waiting for, I'm guessing the rain to stop and everything. And <coughs> we see what happened in this village, how Ares met two new friends and how everything went. And it was a nice, like, you know, like, slow laid back episode and this really showed how like you know like uh Ares like you know like Ares also like what, what can I say like Ares has always been with people who are basically like you know uh older than her for example like I, I've never seen a f like her mentioning any friends of her so you know Ghislaine like her mom and dad and everything. and uh, Rudy you can call him like you know uh similar age to her but actually Rudy is an like you know is an old not old but you know is an adult so you know his personality is very much adult like that's why you can say like uh, this is probably the first time I think that Ares actually came across children of uh, the same age group and probably younger than her these two like Tona and I think that was her name Tona yeah and the other girl and she was kind of like you know like acting as a big sister we see how like, you know like when they were eating she was like oh wipe your mouth <laughs> you're you're spilling everywhere wipe your mouth <laughs> like you know acting like a big sister that was kind of you know nice to see and <clears throat> yeah and okay so here we get a little bit of a background on Ghislaine <clears throat> who she is what's the relationship with these people <coughs> Tona's father's sister, Tona's aunt. So Tona's aunt is Eris's master. That is which is Ghislaine, obviously. And that's why like you know, like it's like a weird in a weird way they're like connected. And we see how these people they are not these people but i think only the the, the brother uh, you know Ghislaine's brother he was kind of angry at uh, Ghislaine now one thing i really wasn't able to understand like uh, just a sec here it is uh, it says that she abandoned the dolia's duty to guard the forest and the sacred beast and then you know after that like you know after like you know, in the later part of the episode, he says that I was relieved when a wandering swordsman took her away from the village. So, no, oh, I guess, um, okay, okay. Like, I guess he, like, like, uh, this is like a complicated, I think, emotion that he was going through. Like, he, first of all, he, he is bitter about the fact that Ghislaine went away leaving her, um, duties over here. And uh, at the same time, he also says that he was relieved when the wandering swordsman took her away from the village. Because, you know, like, she, because he, she was kind of an eccentric. And <clears throat> so, like a weird type of, a, what can I say, like, you know, like, a thing that, really weird type of an emotion where she is his, his sister. Like, like, you know, like, like, but still, he did not like her in a way. But at the same time, when she went away, he probably felt sad 
because she went away all that stuff like you know that's why and this is like a complicated situation <clears throat> so yeah that's what was probably happening and anyways he he still like you know like he still did not wasn't able to accept the fact that Ghislaine went away leaving her duties and stuff that's why you know uh, like the the villagers also seemed a little bit uh, hesitant to talk about Ghislaine but I think uh, that was probably because uh, the, the brother was here I think that was probably the main reason you know because they were also hesitating when as soon as they heard Ghislaine's name and obviously Ares kind of <clears throat> you know fights back and says that no Ghislaine how how could you know anything about Ghislaine like she's my master she's the greatest and <clears throat> yeah like 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 obviously this really shows how um you know like like we've seen this before as well like Eris is very straightforward you know like she whenever something she doesn't like happens and like you know we've seen this the same thing happen when uh, Rudy was also bad-mouthed like you know she just just goes like you know like she just confronts everyone uh directly it just goes and starts shouting and says that how dare you and like you know like it really shows how simple she is she just like you know like everything that she thinks about she just tells it and whenever she feels like yeah something not like you know something wrong is happening like when someone bad mouths Ghislaine or someone bad mouths Rudy <clears throat> or his her teammates she, she'll be like this you know she'll just directly confront them and just directly say everything and show that she is not happy with whatever they said and again like you know like we see Rudy come and kind of like like say that okay like enough you know like they have their own problem and again we see how Rudy is an adult you know like he goes everything like you know he, he confronts the situation <clears throat> in a more calm and more you know Mm, calculating manner and sometimes which also is a big problem like the thing that Aries does sometimes can be like you know like you know in diplomatic situations thing that Aries does is probably a not good thing but at the same time sometimes what the thing the way Rudy uh, actually tackles a problem you know like doesn't tell anyone kind of hides everything tries to do everything on their own calculates everything from the beginning like you know like his because he's not straightforward because he's an adult you know <clears throat> like it also kind of causes some problems so like you know kind of it kind of shows us how like you know a child how a child is really straightforward and how like you know an adult it kind of looks at everything uh, in a different kind of way which sometimes actually complicates situation more so anyways this is something different i'm talking about but i just thought that yeah this whole dynamic really shows like uh, eris and uh, Rudy's <clears throat> and you know what I think that even if Ares you know becomes an adult after she becomes an adult she will be like this <laughs> I, I doubt she will become like Rudy you know like kind of calculate everything and she'll, she'll I'm sure even if she's an adult she'll just go in front of everybody and just say that whatever you're saying I'm not happy with it <laughs> you know like I don't like what you're saying so <laughs> <laughs> he'll just confront everyone directly i think even if she becomes an adult she'll be like that so yeah but anyways um okay that was that and then <clears throat> okay and then uh the three of them the three you know, like you know, aries and the other two kids they you know kind of like have their own like you know like kind of have fun and everything and the tone i think tona that's her name she starts learning stuff from Ghislaine because obviously she wants to become strong uh, not Ghislaine oh what am I saying starts learning stuff from Eris and because she's heard so much about like you know Ghislaine from Eris she's like yeah teach me as well and you know like we have like a nice slice of lifey section where we see how they are training and everything they're like you know living their life and yeah that was just good and rudy like you know like just <laughs> making his figurines okay now here's the portion that i need to check out i wasn't able to when rudy was <laughs> when rudy was <laughs> petting the <laughs> sacred beast 
the lady comes in and she's like a sacred beast has always appeared okay um when the world is in peril okay so this this sacred beast also came because the world was in peril is in peril when it reaches maturity it will journey forth with a hero now this is the section that actually interests me she says she, uh, when it reaches maturity it will journey forth with a hero now i don't know like if rudy will become a hero or something you know like in the future who knows but you know maybe because the sacred beast is so friendly with rudy maybe we we're, we're, we're going to we're going to see the sacred beast again in the future as, as she says that like the sacred beast will start their journey with a hero so if rudy is a hero becomes a hero in the future i'm not sure i'm just saying you know maybe this beast will come and we'll meet this beast again i don't know but anyways okay um <clears throat> therefore becoming aroused by the sacred beast is not <laughs> my god these guys <laughs> these people still have the <laughs> wrong impression of rudy oh my god and rudy's like no i'm pretty sure i'm not getting her <laughs> <laughs> aroused though oh boy okay and then like you know the squabble starts between tona and <clears throat> Ares. and tona's dad kind of explains that yeah like i regretted it later on and you know not talking with galane And it's really interesting to see how Ghislaine really, I guess, changed, you know, like according to uh, the brother, uh, Tona's dad, Ghislaine is like, she said, he says that she was a ruffian who hit people and broke things when we said she was in a bad mood. She was like a monster. <clears throat> I was relieved when a wandering swordsman took her away from the village. Okay. Um, who is this guy who took her? Okay. Let me try to see his face. I can see that the guy has a scar in his face. That's just it. Um, maybe maybe one of the characters we've already met. You know, in season one, we've met a few characters who we still have no information about. You know, th those. Um, I can't remember their names, but there were a few characters who we kind of briefly saw you know like there's this one episode before the calamity uh, uh, no what was the name of that uh, the mana mana uh, thing happened there was this one episode where they kind of gave us little sections of different characters who were probably going to meet i think there was like this one person who had like dragon scales in his face and there was like this uh, huge dragon we also met kishiruka at, at that section as well no, but there are a few other characters at, at that time as well. Maybe he's one of them. I'm not sure. Or maybe he's kind of related to them. Because this guy seems pretty um, important. You know, because obviously because they're covering his face, you know, and they're not letting us know um, uh, the identity. So I'm guessing he is important. Probably we'll get to know in the future. And I'm sure like, you know, this guy is probably very strong because he, he taught Ghislaine. So yeah so we'll see okay anyways the dad says that yeah i regret that now and all that stuff uh tona goes back apologizes and then kind of <clears throat> you know they kind of become friends again and yeah that's all good all right then in the last scene we see the fight between tona's dad and um uh, Ghislaine, uh, not Ghislaine, why am I, oh god, Eris, <laughs> Tona's dad and Eris, and obviously he wanted to fight Eris because, you know, like, Ghislaine is her teacher, and, like, you know, he wants to see how Ghislaine has changed in a way, like, uh, oh, this thing, I, I was saying this before, um, it's really surprising to see how Ghislaine was so different before, and that's why the dad was very surprised to hear that Ghislaine, like, you know, le is learning magic from Rudy, learning to read, write, do, do arithmetic. And that really, like, you know, like, probably shocked him. 
because you know she was accustomed to the glen who just fought hit people was who was like a complete ruffian so that is very surprising and yeah that really shows how glen also kind of you know like changed throughout and probably the person who took her in probably he taught her all these things you know like manners and everything how to do stuff and how to fight as well and uh, yeah anyways okay uh, and then they start the fight okay and <laughs> like there's like one slash that happens they kind of stop and Eris, like, you know, they, they kind of put their weapons in. Eris says that, okay, I won't lose next time. Now, here's the thing. Just like how Rudy said that, is, is this only me that don't understand what the hell happened here? Um, on speaking, I also don't understand. How were they able to actually gauge who is more stronger? Now... I'm guessing it might be one thing like you know like like when they traded blows they were able to immediately realize who was stronger maybe that's it because uh, the weapons are also intact I think you know like if one of the once weapon kind of got destroyed or something I would have been like okay maybe that was the reason why they realized or something I would th think something like that but none of them got hurt none of them get not got nothing they just traded blows so I guess that was probably how they, they were able to realize who's stronger and Eris was able to realize that no this this guy is more stronger than me and i also kind of expected that obviously because you know like he's he's like a like grown man and he is fighting for so long and everything and you know he is definitely more stronger than Eris. Eris who has so little experience so yeah but surely Eris will become stronger than him in the future i'm, I'm sure she, she will and I think, like, as, as I said, like, you know, that was probably how they were able to realize who won. Both of them were able to realize. And I think, like, there's, like, this thing I remember, like, not... I think, like, I've heard this in another anime. Oh, I think it was in Naruto. Um, like, they say where, like, it's just this whole thing, like... Yeah, it was probably in Naruto that they said this. Like, when someone trades blows, you know they are able to realize like you know how strong the other person are you know and a lot of other things like things start to glow in, go in slow motion like that's how they explained it in naruto things started to go start to go in slow motion you understand your opponent as soon as you trade blows and i remember like in, in like in the fight between naruto and sasuke this this whole section came out where like you know they traded blows and there was this whole section of everything went slow motion and they were able to realize what the other person is thinking all the other stuff and not only in naruto i've also heard this in another i can't remember but some other animes as well where they say like whenever people trade blows a lot of things happen the opponent realizes how his opponent is how much strong they are what they are what type of people they are and you know this is like like this type of a thing so i'm guessing it's something like that probably happened here they traded blows and Eris was able to realize that yeah i'm still inexperienced and i need, need a lot more training and that's why she said that yeah i lost i I'm, i lost and i will become stronger and i'll win next time <coughs> okay and then it comes like you know then, then they goes back start their journey geese comes and joins us and like for a moment they actually forgot that he was actually captured because of a criminal <laughs> offense like you know he cheated i think that's what he did so <laughs> he was still I, I guess like you know imprisoned but he came, he came out and i'm not sure if they actually let him go or he kind of <laughs> like you know i don't know like broke out or something i think he probably broke out i'm not sure because rudy asked that i thought he was still behind bars and he was oh no he he says oh yeah he himself says that i made a break for it yeah oh i made a break for it yeah he himself says that okay like i i didn't pay attention to that previously all right um so yeah he broke <laughs> he broke out and he's like yeah let me join <laughs> now I'm, I'm not sure he says that he let me uh ride with you midway uh 
you know, let me tag along with you for a while. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing he'll be with us for this whole season and probably in the future as well. Because as I said, he seems like a character who will be uh, included in one of the, like, you know, supporting characters. Uh, so, yeah, he'll probably become, become Rudy's friend or something. <clears throat> All right. Um, and, and okay. Th and then there's this thing that he says, uh, monument to the seven great powers. They're supposed to be the seven strongest fighters in the world. Seven great powers. <clears throat> All right. Seven strong fighters. The current order starting from number one goes. Technique, God, <clears throat> Dragon God. Okay. Wait, so. Wait a minute, what? He says that these are the seven great powers. Rudy asks, who are they? They're supposed to be the seven strongest fighters in the world. And then he says the current order starts technique god like wasn't he talking about people why is he naming the techniques then oh i'm guessing the people who are oh okay okay i think he, he's he's by this he actually tries to mean that the people who are the top of these techniques you know like like the god the dragon god the battle god these i think these are techniques people who are on top of like you know like the, the strongest in them are the seven strongest fighters because the seven great powers i think that's what they said okay technique god dragon god battle god demon god dead god sword god north god okay so these are the strongest and the people who are Okay, and Ruja says, when I was young, I trained hoping to be one of the seven great powers someday. Yeah. So not even you stand a chance against them, Ruja. I don't know, but my name isn't on that monument, so I guess I'd not. All right, here we go. So yeah, that was, like, you know, that was what they were saying. So these are the... Um, great powers, the seven strongest people here and uh, like you know everyone has like a specific technique and they, he kind of mentioned them and i think uh the north god style i think uh gallus is the one i think he mentioned it in the previous episode gallus is the one who trained in the north god style i think he said something like that yeah and okay so these are the techniques i'm guessing and the people who are the strongest in them are the seven great um powers i think that's what they said uh, yeah the great power seven great power rudy says that oh boy like yeah like i don't even want to meet them if they're stronger than rude <laughs> rigid and i think he's probably jinxed it we are most probably going to meet someone in the upcoming episodes who will be a very strong character and who will be a problem <laughs> yeah let's wait so that's it so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to mushiku tensei season 2 episode number 4 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of mushiku tensei so until then goodbye and have a nice day